Welcome back to my channel. This is Ingenious Giacomo and pretty much today I was installing a toilet seat. As you know, it's a brand new toilet seat we got for a commercial bathroom because the old one was kind of shaky. I should have two to change. Oh my God, what a pain in the neck. Anyway, that's what I ended up having to do. You know? Anyway, the, a pretty easy job, like I said, like installing a, a toilet seat can become something a bit of a nightmare. So thank God I got my tools, you know, so that's what I had to do. I had to get my grinder out after trying and trying. That's what the um, bolt looked like. It was looking very good on the upper part. When I went underneath, it was so corroded where um, I just the only way was to cut in them. So I'm gonna do the second one. I will show you step by step. Like I said, I try everything. I tried to um, remove the washer in the bottom and just you couldn't. And on the top, this one is the one with the, um, technically it's a metal bar going through all the upper part. So it doesn't shake and clearly didn't do anymore because it was shaking. So let me show you the other one I'm gonna be doing in a moment. But uh, like I said, an easy job, like changing a toilet seat can, becoming, can become a project. That's why sometimes you never know. Uh, I think I wasted at least 15 minutes already on it. So it's gonna be at least half an hour by the time I clean up. Something normally can do in five minutes. Let me get going to the other toilet and I'll show you what the other, this one was looking like. So see, same here. Um, it looks pretty good. It just feels shaky. Sadly, you cannot tighten it anymore. They are so rusted underneath. And we're, let me, I don't know if you can see it there, the angle. Anyway, that's, um, that's it, you know, I'm just changing both of them because it's just too shaky. I tried to put some kind of um, space thing underneath, a spacer, but um, just not good. So, okay, so let's get started here. I'm gonna have to repeat what I did with the other one. It's the only way I can get this toilet out. I'm gonna use my grinder here. There's a Rayobi cordless grinder with a metal grinding wheel. I think it's done. Let's take a look. Yeah. Now one more, then we move to the next step. We need to cut a little more. Yeah, that's enough. I don't want to crack the, the ceramic, but yeah. So one bolt is gone. This one probably is very hot, so I'm gonna Should be fine. Let me see if I can get it out. Okay, one is gone. It's not as bad as the other toilet. We have a pair of pliers. Okay, you gotta be careful, you don't wanna put too much strength or you might crack the porcelain. The ceramic. That's it. So we got it. Now the cleanup, and let's go with the new seat. Like I said, the new seat is so much better because they use um, this, um, I guess it's called no slide, no move. So you see these mounts? They have a little, um, like a little barb thing on it. And, um, and then they use a new type of screw. I really don't like it too much. Once you reach a certain point, the bottom part of it snaps, but they're fully plastic. And so far it looks like pretty sturdy. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the final thing once I'm done, but we are finished. I'll be cycling up, of course. Okay, thank you again for watching. This is Ingenious Giacomo.